So Marlink is, uh, is uh, the number one leader in, in broadband communication uh, for the maritime community. So we are a truly global company, approximately 1,000 employees, and we focus our uh, business in, uh, in the maritime segment, both on connectivity, but also more and more on IT solutions and cyber covering around that. So the big thing this year is really that we are launching a new fleet of uh, IT services which will help ship owners uh, to keep their softwares updated, keep their IT infrastructure on board in a decent shape uh, and thereby also more resilient to, to cyber threats going forward. So this is, a, this is a magic for many people because it's, it's something that is in the sky and it's intangible. And I think the, t the really key uh, thing to focus on is to make sure that you are agnostic as to, to your choice, that you have an open philosophy enabling you to take advantage of the new satellite systems that will come tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. Marlink is working hard with the, the equipment manufacturers to make sure we have versatile terminals that will allow you to upgrade your capabilities into the future. And this is uh, a key topic. Um, to be concerned about. The installation on board a vessel is a hassle for everybody and you don't want to do that more frequently than you absolutely have to. So I think cyber is becoming more and more relevant. Uh, we're talking a lot about digitalization in the maritime industry, uh, but we, we saw a report from the US Coast Guard only last Monday where they say that now uh, the cyber community, so the, the hacking community, is starting to target maritime uh, uh, players uh, with, with their attacks. The most important thing we can do is to educate people uh, to reduce the human risk and then use technology to try to secure the network and the, and the communication as, as best possible. I think for the ship owners, there are two aspects to this. One is that the insurance companies may make reservations on paying out for claims that is caused by cyber because they may have been negligent in, in the treatment of it. The other thing that we already see with tanker operators is that uh, the oil majors are starting to demand that people are adhering to the IMO 2021 recommendation already. So this is going to spill over to the merchant market and we really need to, to make sure that we help the ship owners uh, manage this risk. So first of all, uh, for all our existing clients, uh, I'll, I'll always like to thank them for their business and their trust uh, in Marlink. Uh, but what they should be aware of is that we are, we're always spending our time together with the customers and our partners to develop for, the, for tomorrow. So embarking with Marlink, you're embarking on the road to the future and we are eager to help our clients uh, achieve that so that they can do their business the best way possible and we will take care of the IT and the communication side.